Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Wednesday. A beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. During a recent interview, y'all, Nene Leakes, honey, opened up about why she chose y'all to do BET's College Hill reboot. Now, she said, well, you know, honey, I just lost my husband a few months before I moved into the house. And um, I was a little uneasy about if, you know, I should get back into reality TV or not. She said, but I wanted to, honey, kind of get, you know, my feet wet again because she said she had stopped doing reality for a minute. She said this was a great experience. Now, on how she's dealing with the loss of her husband, Greg, she said, I have a lot of highs and lows. She said, you know... (coughs) It's a lot. And I think that when people see you functioning that day, honey, think that you're okay and that you, you you don't need anybody. She said, but I'm still very much in need. She said, it hasn't been a full year yet, and I've been through a lot of transition over the last year. But I have a great support system around me. Isn't that beautiful? Don't she have a whole new man? Well, well, yeah, but his wife was suing her and stuff, so I don't know if she put him on hold for the moment. But um, have y'all seen um, the, um, the show yet? Anybody seen the reboot, College Hill reboot? Have y'all seen Not that? Not yet. Not yet, it? but I'm looking mm-hmm. forward to it. Yeah, I heard it was interesting. It's going to be interesting. Who's all on the show, Gary? Nene. I don't know who the mother people huh? are. <laughs> <laughs> I just know she <laughs> all so, But I heard a lot about it. But what? Isn't that kind of going back, though? I mean, you're doing a College Hill reboot. That's a reboot show for one thing. And you were a big A-lister star doing Real Housewives of Atlanta and um, Glee and all these other big shows and stuff. I mean, isn't that kind of kind of like stepping back a little bit? Would y'all think so? I mean, Maria, y'all, y'all not even you in TV and radio. Wouldn't, wouldn't y'all think that, Ricky? I mean, come on. Oh, I think it's a fresh what? start. Yeah, I think it's a fresh start for her. You know, coming off of losing Greg and all of these things, going on a lawsuit with Real Housewives and... You know, so she's probably just trying to get back out there. I don't think it's not wrong with starting over. You know, she could just be sitting at home doing nothing. So I'm just trying to be positive. Oh, no, and yeah, the Kill yeah. Show, it's a reboot, but I believe it. It's people going kind of back to college and people that went to HBCUs. And so I think it'll shed a cool light on um, black college life and what that looks like and encourage those to, you know, kind of go back if you want to. Ricky. I mean, because uh, I'm not hearing what I'm hearing. Well, why you say you're not hearing what you're hearing? Yeah, no, doggone. Well, I, how, that's like, damn it, you just going back to something to get a doggone check. Reboot, College Hill, reboot, stuff like that. When you've already done big things like that, and you stepping back going, doing something like that, about going back to college at 90 years old. No, I don't think that's Ooh. a good look. Oh, at yeah, 90? 90. Is that how old she is, well, Oh, well, my goodness. Uh, oh, oh. That's not a good look. Senior they citizens just did a Martin reboot. What? They did a Martin reboot. A lot of shows have rebooted. No, no, you know, no, 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 no. You can't compare Martin, honey, to this here. You can't compare that to this here, honey. Martin was a show. This here is, honey, old people going back to damn school. That's, uh-uh. Ain't nothing no. wrong that with her getting a show, check. Mm-hmm. No. Keeping the brand out there, keeping her brand going, and getting paid at the same time. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, All Mary, right. if you didn't have any other option for working, you wouldn't take a job because you felt like it was beneath you? No, I would take a job. But, girl, you going back from you being a big star, honey, saying, honey, uh, baby, uh, whatever that expression was that she had said once upon a time, she was a rich itch. Now, and you going to do college reboot and stuff like that, honey? No, girl, that's, that's just not, I mean... That's just, that's kind of humiliating to me, but that's neither here nor there, child, honey. I mean, if I had to go back to Wendy's, I would go back. But no, that's just not a good look. <laughs> but see, that no. sounds so hypocritical, Gary. You just said that you would go back to Wendy's. Yes. And you're a star. Everyone knows you're a star right now. I no. Mean, you're like practically an A-list. And, and, and Gary in charge of, uh, 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 you was in charge of chili. That's right. I did the chili, honey. So, <laughs> yeah. I bet you was good too, wasn't it? Yes, it was, baby. We took the old meat patties, honey, that didn't sell, and you grind them up, put them in some beans and in the pot, and you made the chili. Oh, okay. And that's wow. what I did. All right. mm. Trade secret. They probably until, didn't until want you, out. Until your nerves got bad. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's right, now. baby. Tell <laughs> you, ain't tell, you, ain't tell, you ain't tell nobody. You ain't take your medicine. <laughs> How you got fired? Tell us, Ricky. Yeah, he, he, didn't take, he didn't take his medicine, and then he was work, working that lunch shift, and them orders kept coming up, and that phone kept ringing. How many times did that got... phone ring before you baby, snapped, Gary? Baby, that phone rang a couple of times, girl, and I started, honey, my nerves, like he said, was vexed, and I threw that chili pie, because, honey, I was... <laughs>
<laughs> so he said he took that whole pot of chili and threw it across windows. <laughs> and they ran, they ran his ass out of there. Baby, they got me up out of that girl, honey. You can't, <laughs> like, ever, you can't ever work at Wendy's again. You left. No. You got to, that's why you got to leave right. You got to leave right, Ricky. But you know what? When I go to Wendy's now, baby, I got that picture in my phone. And I, those girls know, girl, I used to work here, child. So, honey, hey, I know the deal, honey. They don't wear those uniforms no more you, like I used to wear them, honey. Do you still get a discount? <laughs> um, sometimes the girls will give me a discount, honey, yeah. Or, they, or they'll give me some strawberry lemonade when you order soda because that's an upgrade. So they'll give me some strawberry lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, that's all right, man. It's an upgrade because that strawberry lemonade costs a little bit more than that soda, honey. So, girl, they'll give me a little upgrade, honey. It'd be nice, child. So, it's all good, honey. We're Wendy's <laughs> girls. All right. <laughs> Everybody at Wendy's got to be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> they are girls. That's right, y'all. The Kahlua Day, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua Day, y'all, is Fandango. On the high end, you say Fandango. Fandango. And on the, the low end, say pink. <laughs> All right, y'all, give it up. Give it up again with the team. Yeah. Yeah.